Hey everybody, it's your boy Z-Man here to bring you part 42 of our Let's Play of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last part, we went out as Sly and we got ourselves the music box upgrade item thingamajig where we throw a box and it plays music. It's awesome. But now, we've got everything done. We've got two of the clockwork parts, only one more train left to go get. So we're going to head out as Murray and... Oh my goodness. Here we go. Off aboard, guys. We've got a train to catch. Now, first off, we just have to admire just the brute strength that Murray has. He's doing this on his own. He caught up to a train on a handcart. Got it. Strong work, Murray. Yeah, sure. But Murray's strength knows no limit. You're on, Sly. Break into that train and steal the clockwork stomach. That John Bassan's one strange guy. The claw gang divides up the clockwork parts and he walks away with a stomach and lungs? It still creeps me out. Get creeped out later when we aren't riding an antique handcar at breakneck speeds. Good point. It's time for a train robbery. Alright, so it's Sly's turn. Uh, he has to grab this next one. Uh... Bentley will come in at some point, but for the time being, we have to be Sly. And as Sly, I can use my music box upgrade I just got and, you know, have a little bit of fun. Hey, look. Music box. Fall asleep. Oh, it totally worked. And, and, guess what else? I've got sound obliteration, so when I take him out, the other moose isn't going to hear me. That's... Perfect combo right there. Silent obliteration and that, uh, sleep thing. Perfect. That's how it's done. Alright, so now we've got really, really, really messed up laser system. I don't remember. Okay, so... Oh, it's just a crawling maze. We put up a laser system that you can crawl under. This is the... These people have the worst security systems ever, I swear. Okay, how am I getting out of here? I need to go around all there. There's my exit. Stupid train cart. Oh my god, it's Jombison. Whew! Luckily, he's too busy worrying about other crap that he can't see you. clockwork stomach is as safe as a snowman in winter. I'd like to meet the Oh, he's just sitting in there talking about how he would just kill us if he ever found us. Hey, John! John! Look right! Look to your right! Look to your... No, oh, too bad you missed him. Yeah, Jean Bisson is stupid. So we're gonna climb this cart and... Oh, no. Hey, Cooper. Thought I might find you here. Just can't stay away from these clockwork parts, can you? No, oh, I just do it to meet exciting ladies like yourself. If you'd like some excitement, why not climb up on top of the train? I'm sure to get your heart pumping, maybe even show you my new ride. No thanks, Neela. I've seen enough already. What's the problem, Poodle? Afraid you can't take me on. Have to call up your little friends for help. Come in, little friends. Neela's got me pinned down. Any chance of air support? I've already launched the RC chopper. She won't know what hit her. Come on, Koopa. Let's play. What in blazes? Right, little RC friend. This should be a quick bit of destruction. All right, now we're gonna be fighting. Uh, fighting. We're gonna be fighting uh, Neela. This time around, it's much. Well, this time around, we're gonna be fighting Neela. It's just it controls exact same as the uh, other flying sections we've done so far. Only this one. Uh, this, this is what I was thinking about more in terms of that final boss that you always fight in those games. Uh, shooting out, like, certain missiles and certain patterns, and if you can get the pattern down, you're good to go. And hopefully I don't screw this up too much. It's actually really hard to beat her. Yeah. I didn't have much of a chance of winning that one right there, considering I get hit by, like, five of those green bombs she threw. Perfect! Alright, let's keep doing this. Alright. I can take this down. I may not have been good at those flying games, but I can do it here, because it's Sly Cooper. And this is the only this is one of the few gameplay 
Well, actually, this is a very good gameplay choice. I did like this. It kind of throws in a little bit of an extra genre to uh, the Sly Cooper gameplay once again, just like they did with that tank, the tank mini game, kind of. And now we got a flying, fly, uh, flying mini game. It's pretty awesome. Oh crap! She's gonna start sending out all of these uh, bi biplanes and shooting out missiles that actually home in on you. God, I hate fighting Mila. Except, good thing is, I'm gonna take her down right here. This is gonna be easy. As long as I don't completely screw this up. No! It was so close. Okay. Let's do it one more time. This is just bad. Constant firing stream. That generally has a tendency to help. It also helps if I could ever go through that little gauntlet of, gauntlet of uh, bullet strikes that she's probably... Yeah, she's doing right now, that little gauntlet. If I could ever get through that without getting hit by the freaking missiles. Holy crap, I did it. Nice! I'm going to pull this off this time. Stupid biplanes, I'm going to take you out first. And then she's got all these... They actually aim for you, and yeah, I was screwed there. Stupid biplanes, I hate you. Oh crap. Oh crap. Those green bombs do a lot of damage to you. And she does throw them at where you're at, so as long as you're moving in a certain in a any direction really when after she throws it, probably won't get hits. Just make sure you move. I've almost got her down. Oh my goodness, she goes into the freaking attack that I hate most. Like really, really badly hate. Stupid biplanes. I don't like you. Took her out. Good. That was some fancy flying, little friend. Whatever you say, poodle. Ha! <laughs> Word play among friends. Get it? It's awesome. Hey, Sly! I get to that clockwork stomach fast. This old hand cart is starting to fall apart. Yeah, I forgot about, uh... I, I didn't even realize what the, uh, poodle comment even was for, like, ten... For, for quite a while, actually. Neela actually called him a poodle. I kind of just realized that. I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. Sound of obliteration because it's awesome like that. As long as I don't knock over any of these whiskey bottles, we should be good. I'm telling you, sound of obliteration, so awesome. Now, this is a bit of a platforming. Not this one. But very soon we're gonna be coming up on the plat. There's a platforming trick. Not necessarily a trick, but this next platforming section kind of sucks, and I hate it. Because while on a moving train, I have to get from uh, rung to rung without falling over, otherwise I have to try again. Can't we just go in and attack the ducks? It'd be so much easier. I don't want to have to do this. Unlock the doors. Break in through the window. Okay, let me try this again. Uh, I think what you have to do is you have to pull straight back and nice. Now you gotta go down and oh, somehow I pulled that off. Perfect. Silent obliteration. Honestly, that's gotta be the coolest named uh, sly move there is. I mean, come on, it's called silent obliteration. How awesome is that? Music box. That is a lethal combination. That music box silent obliteration combo. I love it. Best moves in the game, if you ask me. Alright, let's get lots and lots of money so that I can buy crap later in the game, because there's still more crap for us to get. Not saying I'm going to get it all. I like this, because you can just skip this section entirely just by going up over the top. Perfect. Don't even have to worry about those guys. And, oh, I'm thinking that stomach needs to be mine. Looks like John Bassan's wised up and bolted the stomach down. We'll have to crack the engine block to get it free. Well, that's just what we'll do. A well-placed bomb down the train smokestack will knock it loose. Just make sure to take some cover. Not so fast, chum. The clockwork part is mine. There will Jeez, Neela, how much punishment do I need to dole out? See, the fact of the matter is, you actually have to dole out a lot more punishment. Plus, somehow the air... Why didn't we take out the air defenses on this train as well? 
Because those aren't Nela planes, those are uh, Jean Bisson planes. I'm getting hit left and right right now. This is ridiculous. Nela, just die. Oh crap, she went underneath of us. Okay, I need to. Rem how do I shoot bombs? I forgot how to shoot bombs. I forgot, and I got hit by a, like four missiles there. This is crap. All right, so I got the bombs going. Bombs don't do very much to Nila, and I'm pretty much dead. I might as well give up on this one. Oh well. Oh, she, she's she got a bunch of different attacks. All of these attacks are different from the last time we fought her. This is kind of phase two Nila. Um, these attacks are based a lot more on like these single planes trying to attack you and all that crap. Um, still not that hard. This actually, I think this iteration of Nila is actually a lot easier to beat than the other one is. See, I've already got her like three quarters of the way down. And I already know I'm gonna screw this up somehow. Oh, this will be the point. This is how. Okay, never mind. I didn't screw it up. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna pull this off. I am totally gonna pull this off. One more bomb. Two more. One more bomb. I just need to hit her one more. Yes, I pulled it off somehow. Holy crap. I was not expecting that at all. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and kamikaze dive bomb with the helicopter. And we got the clockwork stomach, oh yeah! Upset stomach on my hands, but other than that, I feel great. All right, seriously, it is the the pun, the puns in this are getting a little much, guys. Come on. I love it, but the gang and I had pulled off the impossible. We'd successfully robbed all of John Bisson's iron horse trains, and we were walking away with three. Count them, three clockwork parts. And as a bonus, we shut down spice distribution in all of North America. Needless to say, we were pretty pleased with ourselves. Can't say the same for Carmelita. Once again, the framed policewoman had to run from the cops. Which was fun at first, but I'm starting to feel a little sorry for her. I mean, what if they replace Carmelita with someone else? I don't want another cop on my tail. She's a big part of why this is all fun. Sooner or later, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to clear her name. Some way other than turning myself in. Alright, so episode 6 is done. There are two more episodes left. This is episode 7. It's, it shows a bird, but this is actually more of a Jean Bisson mission as opposed to an arpeggio mission. Jean Bisson's not done, and we've got to go take him down one more time. So, that's what we'll do in the next part. We'll start up episode 7. Be sure to be there because I really love this next episode. It's awesome. So, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see all of you guys next time.